Today, I'm taking the last five NBA players to win MVP. Nikola Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and Steph Curry, and putting them into a race to see who wins MVP first. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that, that's a touch confusing. You see, because they've already won MVP, so like, well, I've got a personal scoreboard for each player. Whichever player fills their 18 spaces first wins and is our true MVP. To fill spaces, I'll be tracking these eight criteria for each player every season. Players can accomplish each goal as many times as they please. And just one wrinkle in today's video. I'll be placing the five MVPs into the vaunted 2003 draft class, meaning this race starts with each MVP as a rookie competing in an era with LeBron James and Kobe Bryant. Will LeBron, Kobe, or someone else completely outshine our current day stars? Come on, man. 38, 9, and 8. What is he? This is in What is he doing to us? Or will we see some MVP level performance in the clutch? Keith Bogans, Russ in the corner for the damn. And first things first, let's see where our MVPs get drafted to. Okay, interesting. So LeBron, Bosch, Wade went one, two, three. Steph Curry drafted by the Jazz. Nikola Jokic to the Heat. James Harden to the Grizzlies. Russ to the Cavaliers. And Giannis to the Knicks. Bruh, how many New York, New York fans? Let, let me hear from you, bruh. Now, team success can play into these players racing and winning MVP first. So Steph joins Andre Kirilenko. Old man Carl Malone. Yikes. That's actually not a horrible team. I would say it's a bit better than Nikola Jokic's spot. Well, he is playing with 383s. Nikola needs to get better quickly, though. Giannis, the weakest landing spot so far. Allen Houston, the lone star. Again, Giannis needs to develop. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. James Harden, the early favorite in this challenge, because he joins Memphis as a playoff team. I don't know how they had such a high pick. He fits perfectly into their starting five. And you know what? Cleveland isn't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Ricky Davis, Big Z, both 85s over uh, 85 overall. Maybe Russ can help them out. Uh-oh, as predicted, Kobe Bryant might be one to uh, ruin this challenge for everyone else. And of course, LeBron, too. Just, just right, right on cue like the intro. I knew LeBron would win rookie of the year, though. It's all good. Wait, Carmelo Anthony won six, man? Bruh, is Melo trying to ruin this video too? Oh, what? Nikola Jokic, all NBA second team. He's only a 79 overall. I don't know how that happened, but good on you. Wow, Steph has a rookie average 26 and six. That wasn't good enough for all NBA. Uh, Russ was 23 and seven. Man, these boys were productive. Harden was cool too on a really good Grizzlies team, 21 and eight. Giannis has his work cut out for him, 15, uh, seven. He did fill up the stat sheet. And so did Jokic, seven. 17, 8, and 8. I can't believe he was second team all NBA. Heartbreak for our rookies in year one, though, as Miami with Jokic just missed the playoffs, must have been by a tiebreaker. Giannis and Russ were way out of it, though. And Steph, with his great season, also missed the playoffs on a tiebreaker. I can't believe the Grizzlies were bad. That's crazy to me. It doesn't matter for our purposes, but the uh, 04 Lakers did win the championship. Kobe, bruh. Yeah, yeah, there he goes winning finals MVP. I almost forgot to check our stat leaders for year one, but look at that. Steph Curry did lead the league in three pointers made. He might get that 18 times in a row. Let's be honest. It's pretty easy. After year one, we've got Nikola Jokic, who did make all NBA, which means he gets his first spot over there on the M. It's a journey, but he's got to start. Meanwhile, Steph Curry, by virtue of hitting a whole lot of threes, gets stat leader, meaning he's up there with Jokic, also filling in his first spot on the M. Giannis is a bit better in year two. He's now an 81 overall. Uh oh, Steph Curry already an 88 overall, but they did lose Karl Malone. Wow, Jokic's heat looking good, and he's an 82. James Harden jumped all the way to an 86 overall. They did lose Pau Gasol. Meanwhile, Russ, still part of a pretty good big three. He's an 84 overall. Oh my. Okay. Season two, Kobe. Well, he's won. Uh, he's won everything so far. Literally everything. Nothing for our MVPs, of course. Bro, Nikola Jokic, second team all NBA again. Like where's uh, where where's all the centers at in this league? Ooh, Russell Westbrook making a push now. All NBA third team. Good job, Russ. In addition to being second team all NBA, Nikola Jokic also made his first all-star game as did one Stephen Curry in the West. I definitely just blessed Steph Curry with adding stat leader onto our board because once again, he leads the league in three pointers by a mile. All Although James Harden was down there at fifth. Oh my goodness. Nikola Jokic, second team All-NBA All-Star, again just misses the playoffs and got beat out by Russ's Cavaliers. Nice. Giannis and the Knicks still struggling. Same as Harden and the Grizzlies. Worst in the West? What? Steph and the Jazz, though, they won their division, meaning they get the three seed 47 wins. They might be great. Steph and the Jazz were down 3-2 against the six-seeded Clippers in round one. And they found themselves down three with under a minute left. You gotta be clutch, Steph. Oh, wait. Um, never mind. Steph Curry fouled out. That's, uh, that's the anti -clip. Tactic. A stop and a score here. Steph's Jazz might be able to stay alive. Force a game seven. Oh, you just missed that. Reap to Chris Anderson. Birdman. No way. Meanwhile, Russ and the eight seeded Cavs have the chance to upset in round one. Oh my, it's a tie game with under two minutes left in game seven. Wait a minute. Why do I not see Russ or T Mac on Dude, the. Dude, what am I. Why is T Mac fouled out? Oh. <laughs> And, and and so is Russ. So is it. That, well, that's that. Okay. 2K does not want to see us be great here in this video, getting to see, you know, the players we want to see.
also the Cavs lost. And the Pacers win the 2005 championship? Um, okay. Okay, and with season two down, Nikola Jokic adds two more spots as he knocks off All-Star and All-NBA. And just like that, he's got one full side of the M filled in. Very nice. Steph Curry, meanwhile, did make an All-Star team. Still no All-NBA, but also led the league in three-pointers made again. That's two, meaning he matches Nikola Jokic with the left side of that M filled up. And finally, Russell Westbrook is on the board. He made third team All-NBA. I'm also giving him the farthest in the playoffs one. That means whichever MVP goes the farthest in the playoffs, they get that criteria. And because Russ went to game seven, Steph was eliminated in six. I'm counting. It. Why not help the Brody out who gets his first two faces on his MVP board? Finally, Giannis has jumped to an 85, a nice little leap, but his Knicks are just not helping him out. Steph Curry is ascending so quickly. 92, AK-47 now an 89. Yeah, they should do some damage. Carlos Boozer, Nikola Jokic, Karan Butler, and they drafted Iguodala. That's a pretty good team. He no excuses for 91 overall James Harden this season. He's got a good enough supporting cast. They can't be last in the league again. And finally, Russ making some waves here in this challenge. He got his first two spots. Yeah, he's an 88. Sure. Well, T-Mac finally ended Kobe's reign of terror on the MVP. That's nice. Oh, Russ first team all NBA. Same with Nikola Jokic. It's crazy. They're just, they're just in there. Okay. Bro, I see James Harden first. Giannis. There we go. I was calling for him to have a good season. Finally, second team all NBA. All five of our current day MVPs making all NBA. Steph third team. Really? And he's probably the best of the bunch. Okay. Uh oh, look out world. Giannis is now all defensive team too. Oh yeah, we got a battle heating up just as I expected. Russ, Giannis, and wait for it, Nikola Jokic all made the East All-Star team. Meanwhile, Steph Curry again makes it and James Harden officially breaking out. Wow, you know what? We're going to credit James Harden for leading the league in minutes played. Giannis was second. Harden also finished second in league scoring. Steph is right there. Kobe, of course. Oh, there he goes. Russell Westbrook leading the league in assists. That's a spot. Also, Steph, of course, leading the league in three-pointers made. He owns the it. The playoffs become ever important now. Russ and the Cavs are the two seed. Jokic finally in the playoffs as a four seed. But even with Giannis's great season, the Knicks are still dead last in the East. What? Meanwhile, in the West, Steph and the Jazz, James Harden and the Grizzlies, six, seven. Very nice. Okay, but not so nice. Steph and the Jazz losing in five in round one. Jokic in the Heat, they weren't ready for primetime either. They got beat by the Pistons. But we do have Russell Westbrook back in a round one game seven, this time as a favorite. But this time coming out on the winning end. Good job, Russ. We have one other MVP hanging on though. James Harden and the underdog Grizzlies also into a game seven with the Spurs. And that didn't go so well for James. I kind of saw that one coming. Once again, Russell Westbrook will get the farthest in the playoffs criteria, but just how far? Oh, what? oh okay. Well, not much farther. Actually, the Cavs were up in that series. They, they kind of choked, lost in seven, but it's all good. It's progress, man. Lots of activity after season three. First up, Nikola Jokic, again, an all-star, all-NBA. And that brings him up to five spots. He's almost through that M. Yeah. Giannis Antetokounmpo is finally on the board. All-star, all-NBA, all-defensive, as well his first three spots on the M. Copy paste almost identical for James Harden, who was all-star, all-NBA, and stat leader, as he joins Giannis with his first three spots on the M. Massive season for Russell Westbrook. Brody, all-star, all-NBA, led the league in assists, and again was the farthest in the playoffs. He is really, really close to finishing off his M with six faces. Meanwhile, Steph Curry again, all-star, all-NBA, flamed out in the playoffs, but led the league in threes again, and he ties Russ at the top of our leaderboard. Six spaces filled on his M. Giannis Antetokounmpo now in 90. They've also got this dude, Sam Baker, who's an 82. Bruh, Steph Curry's a 95. Him and AK-47, they best not choke in the first round again. Nikola Jokic is now the best player on his team, a 91 overall with Carlos Boozer still in tow. James Harden just behind Steph Curry as a 94 overall, but James has the best supporting cast. Look at all those mid-80s players. Meanwhile, Russ is just behind Harden, who's just behind Steph at a 93, also a nice little supporting cast. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, LeBron is here. I I've been waiting to hear from him. Oh, and speaking of it's been a while, Steph finally getting credit. First team All-NBA. Nikola Jokic is still there. He owns that spot. Oh, man. James Harden, second team all NBA alongside Giannis. And no Russell West. Oh, Russ. Don't tell me you're choking a 3 1 series lead in this video. Giannis again makes second team all defense, too. That's nice. Good news for Russell Westbrook. He did make the all star game along with Jokic and Giannis in the East. Meanwhile, James Harden and Steph Curry, of course, in the West. Our only stat leader this season again is Steph Curry. 4.1 threes game. Look who's second, though. Nikola Jokic. That, that's fun. Jokic's Heat were the one seed in the East. Giannis and the Knicks made the playoffs, as did Russ and the Cavs. Bad season, though. Only an eight seed. Oh, yo, Harden and the Grizzlies, the best team in the league. What am I seeing? Bro, the Utah Jazz. Speaking of choking, Giannis and the Knicks down 3-1 to the Raps in round one. Okay, they resoundingly survive in game five. But in game six, not so much. Oh my gosh, Giannis, what? You just, you just lost in round one. By virtue of facing Jokic in the heat, Russ and the Cavs are also eliminated in round one. But a nice clean sweep for Harden and the Grizzlies. We've got two round two MVPs. And in short order, we'd have two round three MVPs. Harden and the Grizzlies 
Grizzlies against the two-seeded Timberwolves. Jokic in the Heat against the Bobcats? I don't even need to know who's on that team. Like, there, there's no losing to the Bobcats, Nicola. Okay, good job, buddy. In Season 4, we'd get our first NBA Finals matchup between two of our current day MVPs on one side. James Harden and a truly stacked Memphis Grizzlies team out of the West. And on the other side, they did survive and beat the Bobcats. Nikola Jokic in the first-seeded Miami Heat. Harden and the Grizz took Game 1. Jokic in the Heat snatched home court right back. A 2-1 series lead Jokic in the Heat would take. But Memphis stole home court back. They tied it up. Harden and the Grizzlies would win Game 5. But nah, son, we're heading to 7. Oh my, look at Jokic forcing a Game 7, 45, 12, and 13. Yep. And you knew he had to have a clutch finish in Game 7. Memphis and Harden up 3 with 2 minutes left. Jokic with the first touch in the clutch. Oh, 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 that was a, ba a bad shot. Nicola, what are you doing? Loki, a basket or two in the clutch from Harden and the Grizzlies. And this game, this championship, it's won. Harden going to work on Eddie Jones. Yo, he kind of broke him off right there, Loki. Bro, Harden is just trying to body Eddie Jones. He's inside again. He pricked it with the rebound. Dude, Harden's coming up clutch. Miami's still down 5. 27 seconds left. I think they should go for a three. Either way, this is probably their last shot. If they come up empty here, yeah, this game's over. I can tell. Oh, Jared Jack going to work? What is Jared... <laughs> Jared Jack. That's kind of crazy. And there you have it. The Memphis Grizzlies, indeed NBA champions. And James Harden taking home finals MVP. This is a coup for Harden, like a big bonus. And Harden season shows just how quickly this challenge can change because he gets five criteria, all-star, all-NBA, farthest in the playoffs, a ring, a finals MVP. Meaning just like that, he completes his M in like one fell swoop. He will, however, remain behind Curry, who was all-star, all-NBA, and led the league in threes again. As Curry finishes off his M as well, but gets one spot on his V. Russell Westbrook, who had a great season, Season three only was an all-star in season four, meaning he still got a ways to go on his amp. Giannis, meanwhile, for the second straight year, all-star, all-NBA, all-defensive. He gets three more faces. And Jokic just keeps chipping away all-star, all-NBA again. He too is up to seven spaces on his amp. Giannis didn't get much better heading into season five. He's a 91, but his team's looking right. Steph also stayed at a 95. Oh, the Jazz kind of getting weaker. They've just got their big two. Nikola Jokic definitely improved. He's a 93 after his trip to the finals. James Harden a 96 now after his massive season. And he's the best current star we've got. Oh, wait a minute. Russ is also a 90. So he would be a 97 if he had better morale. Okay, go, Russ. Dude, LeBron. Come on, man. 38, 9, and 8. What is he? This is in here. What is he doing to us? I think the second year in a row, we've seen Steph Curry first team All-NBA alongside Nikola Jokic. James Harden, our lone member on the All-NBA second team. Giannis avoids getting shut out. He's on third team. But again, no Russ. I don't know where my boy Russ is, but Giannis again, all defensive second. Again, Russ did make all-star game at least with Jokic and Giannis in the East. Steph and James Harden. I mean, it's a given. They're all all-stars at this point. Wow, he unfortunately didn't lead the league in anything, but Jokic averaged 31, 11, and nine and a half. Now that's a season. Yeah, Steph just keeps leading. What am I supposed to do? He shoots the most threes. Oh, wait a minute. Jokic did lead the league in something. I had no clue. Free throws made just edging out James Harden, ironically enough. Uh, okay, there you go, Nicola. And again, Nicola's Heat are the one seed. Russ and the Cavs are the three seed. Giannis and the Knicks slipped in there too. Harden and the Grizzlies are again the one seed. And Steph and the Jazz back in the playoffs where they should. Harden and the Grizzlies advanced through round one, as did Steph and the Jazz, meaning Steph and Harden face each other in round two. Interesting. Russell Westbrook, inspired by his all-NBA snub, did win round one in five. But in a crazy upset, Jokic and his unbelievable season got upset in round one. I think I just said upset twice. That's because I'm upset on behalf of it. In our battle of West Titans, James Harden and the Grizzlies were up 3-2. But Russ and the Cavs, unfortunately, found themselves down 3-2. But in a do-or-die game six, Russ came up huge, trying to stay off elimination. Steph Curry needs a miracle. Down six, two minutes left. Harden and the Grizzlies are such a juggernaut, but Steph, you just need a couple shots. There you go. Good slice to the rim. Wow, big shocker here. James Harden is fouled out, by the way. And the Jazz just subbed out Steph Curry. What is wrong with this game, man? Okay, Steph back in. The Jazz still down six, man. You need a clutch shot or two here, Steph. If he gets some space coming off the screen. Oh, he shot it. He shot it. Oh, I thought that was good. That might be game. And unfortunately, it was game. Meanwhile, Russell Westbrook would also suffer the same fate, a tough game seven loss. And with that, James Harden and the Grizzlies advance to round three, meaning James does get the farthest in the playoffs criteria, but uh, can he clinch a second ring and finals MVP in a row? And no, he cannot. This is game seven. T-Mac and the Magic do pull it off. Tough for James. Although it was another great season and great playoff run for Harden, coming up short means he just gets all-star. All-NBA and farthest in the playoffs, bringing him to 11 faces. He's about 
about halfway through MVP, but after Steph Curry again made all-star all NBA and led the league in threes, he still remains one spot ahead of James Harden. He's at 12 faces, only six remaining. Meanwhile, another tough season for Russ, only making all-star. He's actually pulling up the rear right now, just finished his M. Another all-star all NBA all defensive season for Giannis leaves him at nine faces now, starting his V. And another all-star all NBA with a stat lead for Jokic. Nice little season. He's making some progress on his V now too, but it's really Steph's competition to lose at this point. Imagine if his Jazz actually have some team success too. There wasn't much to get into ahead of season six. Giannis had plateaued at a 91 overall. Steph's Jazz still looked really good, as did Nikola's Heat, where James Harden was now a 96 and Russ was a 98 overall. Once again, Steph and Jokic had first team all NBA on lock. James Harden, Giannis second team, but no Russ and no Giannis on all defensive either. All five of our guys were all stars. And of course, Steph led the league in three pointers. Jokic tied for free throws too. In terms of the playoffs though, only Giannis and the Knicks made it out of the East. Russ and Jokic both missed while Harden and Steph both made it out of the West. Unfortunately, once again, Steph's Jazz choked in the playoffs, this time losing to the Lakers. Giannis somehow lost to the Bobcats. Are you serious? And Harden would end up facing those Lakers and losing to them in game seven. And oh yeah, Tracy McGrady is on the Lakers now in this universe. He got traded for Kobe. What? I guess the Lakers won the trade though, as T-Mac would lead them with old man Shaq to a finals and low key T-Mac making a push to be called the true MVP. We pretty much had a copy past a year six as Russell Westbrook, for example, only made the all-star game. He is now onto his V, but I gotta be honest, he's pretty much out of this contest. Same goes for Giannis, who was an all-star all NBA, but missing all defensive definitely hurt. Yes, he's only got 11 faces on his board. It might be too late for Giannis. Nikola Jokic keeps plugging away another all-star all NBA and stat leader season. He has an outside shot. He's got 13 faces. He can see the finish line, but he remains behind James Harden, who might lament not making the finals and winning the last two seasons when he definitely could have because Harden's got 14 spaces covered on his board, just four remaining to fill up the P, but that still leaves him behind Steph Curry with his Mickey Mouse path to a win as Steph is just three spots away and he's pretty much guaranteed three spots every season thus far. Will Steph grab another automatic three spots or do we have another player that will also finish their board this season? It was at this point ahead of season seven, I realized that I accidentally forgot to take our MVPs out of their original draft classes. So yeah, rookie Russell Westbrook happened to get teamed up with Giannis. James Harden's Grizzlies look great. LeBron would win yet another MVP and you know, screw T-Mac. Uh, yeah, LeBron's the true MVP. And somehow rookie Russell Westbrook and Steph Curry won rookie of the year and six man. What? All NBA is where things got interesting. James Harden and Nikola Jokic were first team. Russ was second team. No Giannis and Steph barely made it at third team. Of course, Steph would once again lead the league in threes, but interestingly, James Harden tied for the league lead in free throws. Everyone out east made the playoffs, the Heat, the Knicks, the Cavs, but in the west, Steph missed? Nah, Mickey Mouse. Jokic and the Heat once again failed in the first round, and we'd end up having Harden's Grizzlies and Giannis's Knicks both in the conference finals. Unfortunately, Giannis's Knicks were pushed all the way to seven by the Pacers. Ah, they're down by one with under two left. Oh, why did they have Giannis standing in the corner? I thought he was off the floor. Oh, that's why, because Russ, yo, he's got them. He's backpacking, fair enough. Keith Bogans, Russ in the corner for the day. Oh, Russ. <laughs> That was such a clean look. The Knicks are living by rookie Russ, dying by rookie Russ. Do they let... Y they are not letting Giannis get involved right here. Giannis is getting taken out of the game by AK-47. Russ for the win. No. I Dude, he's 83 overall. Why are you running the offense through him? The door was still open, though. If James Harden could win a ring and a finals MVP, this would get crazy. Well, never mind. I guess James wasn't in the mood to win a second ring. But the Pacers, though. And with that, the final wrap up after season seven, our boy Giannis almost made the final finals, but actually only had one spot with the all-star appearance. Nikola Jokic had his least productive season in a while, only made all-star all-NBA. Russell Westbrook finally made all-NBA again and was an all-star, but that's Steph it. Steph Curry, of course, all-star, all-NBA, stat leader for threes. And James Harden, all-star, all-NBA, stat leader for free throws and was the farthest in the playoffs again, although not winning a ring. But our final tally, because yes, our race has been finished. In last place, Russell Westbrook. He started off so well, but ended up not finishing the V. That's crazy. Finishing just ahead of him, Giannis, who had a bit of a tough go with the Knicks. He finished one spot ahead of Russ. Nikola Jokic was solid throughout, but never really contended to win as he almost finished his P. He was three spots off. But thanks to his 
run in the playoffs, James Harden does finish the race, all right? His MVP, he got all them beards in there, bruh. He did finish technically. But last and certainly not least, Steph Curry, who after this regular season did finish his MVP board before the playoffs even started. So technically, technically, Steph would be our champion over James Harden, who needed the playoffs to finish his board. Or we can say they tied, or we can say Steph won a Mickey Mouse title. You know, it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section.